Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're just gonna be doing um, a very basic video. Obviously, there ain't been really much going on. As you can see, we've just been doing things in the garage, getting more things hanged up. As you'll see there, the garage is looking better as to speak, all liquids are up, everything. I just wanted to give you an update. Obviously, we've got the lights still the same, two lights, as you'll see there. The other two are here. We've got to put them up and board up the rest of the ceiling. Today, we're just going to be doing, really doing a video showing you how to change the spark plugs on the M52 um, and the ignition coils. I'm doing it on my E60. Again, I'll say it again. As many of you know, the E60 is up for sale, but obviously, I changed them 10,000 miles ago. Um, and realistically, I just want to change them again. I'm Obviously, I'm not paying a garage to do this, so it ain't really expensive for me. Most people don't change them until 100K, and that's because they've got to go to a garage and have them changed unless the garage advise them. They don't. Most garages don't because, as you know, they're quite expensive. They work at six pound a piece. We're going to be using these spark plugs, which are right here, which are the laser erdium ones, NGK. And I'm going to be showing you something about this car, obviously, that a lot of people are saying, you've got the one tip on the spark plugs on the m52 bmw did change that and put high power ones with four um strokes on them on the spark plug if i can get one open right now i'll show you so there you have it guys that's the spark plug that i'm on about as you can see these have got four tips most people say they're not the correct ones but unfortunately they are bmw switched to these make after i think it was 2008 they went to these they used to have the single tip on them as most of you know but they switched to these ones because they, the other ones were failing and they thought that was the cause of rough idle hence all the four sparks give more spark to stop the rough idle on the engine but it was nothing to do with that it was all to do with the vanos solenoids and the update but these are good this is what bmw recommend as you see there ngk these are the ones we're going to be fitting and we'll just crack on and let's get the e60 in and let's start removing them. So guys we've got the my e60 in and now what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be changing the spark plugs. So as you guys know, you've got to take this plastic cover off and it's a 13 mil socket right there. Take the pollen filter housing off, slide that off, get this plastic out of the way and take this off and then take the engine cover off. We don't really need to remove anything else. We'll get to it that way and do the spark plugs. As you'll see, my engine is looking quite good, quite clean. My engine isn't very dirty to be fair as I look after it. Um, but most engines are like the E61 was very filthy this one isn't so dirty so let's just crack on and get the spark plugs removed okay guys so we've got all the plastics removed thank god for this the impact gun I've got it all removed quickly but as you can see guys this is why a lot of garages charge you through the nose cause a lot of removing plastics to get to anything on this car everything you do involves removing plastic after plastic after plastic and it's a nightmare just to do all these cars because of that reason so now you just got to take the engine cover off which is quite simple it's just like that and that slides out as you can see there there's my beautiful 152 engine which is still running good from this day i don't really have to change the spark plugs but i'm going to anyway and it lets me see what's going on in the engine as well in case there's anything else I need to change or if there's any problems with it. So that's why we're going to go ahead and change them. Now, you know, guys, what you've got to do here, you just got to lift up the coils, push them out and pull the coils out with a screwdriver. As you know, it's quite very easy on these M52s to do that. But you've got to, first of all, release the plug, which just will just come out like that. And this one should spring out as well. Usually they push out but for some reason this one doesn't want to but this one did as you can see so that one's out now what we're going to do is going to get a um 70 mil socket to get the spark plugs out so as you'll see guys i'm now removing the spark plugs and as you'll see right here when i set this one out i'm not using the spark plug removal at all but it still captured them now as you'll see there this spark plug is actually fine
So guys, what an absolute nightmare. Working on these cars, trying to change these spark plugs, you know, requires a bit of this. Just look at the mess, just to change spark plugs. Because that's how much of a headache it is just to change spark plugs. This is why garages charge you a fortune when you go in there, because of this reason. Most garages will want to remove all this frame and everything just to get to the spark plugs. I didn't do that. Like You don't have to most garages will now when you're here engine cover off engine ignition cores when you go around make sure all the connectors are pushed in after make sure everything's solid in there also it's a good time to check all your bolts on if you've got the magnesium valve cover around the valve cover make sure none's leaking make sure there's no leaks make sure everything's clean and tidy make sure everything's this no oil leaks coming from every anywhere on the car itself as you'll see i check everywhere to make sure there's no oil leaks no coolant leaks no nothing coming out of anywhere on the car, as you, you guys can see, my car's looked after, so, and this is the way I like to have it, you know, I look after the car, I try and check everywhere on it, now and again, I try and check all the bolts, make sure there's no oil leaks coming from anywhere, make sure everything's fine, no valve cover leaks, and nothing, you know, and that's what I do, I do this regularly, I make sure everything's run, running perfect, I make sure everything's in check the way I left it, the last time I did it, but as I say, I haven't done it too long ago, so everything should be perfect. No oil filter housing gasket leaks at all, so it's doing that, which is good. No leaks down here, which does not. So I drove earlier and I got rainwater everywhere, I went for a puddle, and it's come all into the under tray. Great. <laughs> um, apart from that, guys, like I say. We'll start the car up now, see if it runs. We'll put all the plastics back. I know it's gonna run, so I'm gonna put all the plastics back anyway. So what I'll do is we'll come back after, once I've fitted all the plastics back, and obviously just see how it's running, and you know. And as you'll probably see, guys, if you look out there, it's dark. As you guys that always know, I don't sleep. I'm always working late. <laughs> as many of you always, always say to me, don't I ever sleep? The answer is no, I don't. I'm always in a garage working, I'm always up. Up, or up at all different times sometimes early in the morning sometimes at night just you never know when i'm going to be up so guys let's just get this started guys right. so the e6 is now back together we finally got that back together what we're going to go ahead and do now we're going to start the car up we're going to see how it runs now because i change spark plugs and that's it there's nothing much more to it like i said the plastics are the more time consuming thing then removing the spark plugs and the ignition coils that's a not doodle but do, the plastics are a complete nightmare. Even putting them back is quicker to put them back than it is removing them because of all the Torx bolts and because of all the plastics and all the 13 mil plastic nuts. But the problem filter housings and the housings underneath, there's a lot of different ones. It can just end up being a quite fiddly and a bit of a nightmare. So now what we're going to do is now we're just going to, like I said, start the car up and let it run. And that's it. And we'll see if it starts missing. So as you see, guys, the engine's running. Running perfect. No misfiring. What I like to do after I change spark plugs. It just takes it for well, a quick test drive, just test everything, make sure there is no misfires, make sure there is no lag coming from any of the cylinders, and make sure everything's running perfect. Even though it runs perfect, you can never know if it's actually giving full power on the spark plug. So that's what I'm going to do now, is I'm going to take it for a test drive, and then that'll be it, guys. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Obviously, it's nothing, not a major video, because there is nothing major to actually be done. That's why I'm needing to get another car. That's why we need to get more cars on this channel ASAP because obviously we're running out of things to do. Next video you're probably going to see is the M54 valve cover gasket and the vanos seals. They need doing. There's nothing more to do on the M52 engine that this car's meant to be sold. And there isn't nothing to do on my one anyway, even if I was to keep it, because everything's been done. So thanks for watching, guys. It's BMW Dr. Dean here. Give this video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it, like all my other videos. Hope you enjoyed all the other videos I have been putting out as well. So the next one you will see is the M54 valve cover and the vanos seals and the spark plugs again on that one. Because as you know, guys, we don't know when that was changed. Thank you for watching and goodbye.